Hello everybody, welcome to Quick Bang, I am Matty, we're going to be talking about Hibstraw with Heart of Mid Lydown, sorry Midlothian, um, the day the, the, the Edinburgh team that spends more time on the grass than they do on their feet. Um, one one draw last minute goal for Martin Boyle, Kaiser I'll come to you first mate, uh, what was your take on the, on the game? Well, we started 10, 15 minutes. We, we looked really good. We, we we're going to get yeah, kind of a good account. I think we looked quite sharp. And then I don't know what happened after that. We just seemed to take we just seemed to take our eye off the ball. And we seemed to be, we made a lot of mistakes. I think that was kind of the story of the match was mistakes were made. Um, no being able to complete passing, um, passing the ball to them. I mean... I can't really even really single out one player that was the worst for it, but I think Porto had a bit of a bad game mm-hmm. with you know possession. Um, it was just a very very cagey affair, and we didn't look like we were going to score a goal. We just looked like we were a wee bit, a wee bit off it. But um, it was a decent game. It was just I like, think beating kind of a through a spanner and a works with it with his decisions and stopping the game a lot more than it should have been stopped for trivial fouls or they weren't even fouls he was just mm. beating beating he seems to have a habit where us uh, showing uh, uh, showing a total amount of bias against whoever we're playing against um, and it's it's ridiculous but it was quite stop starting and Hearts after they got their goal I thought they kind of uh, played to that and, and sat back and held a lot of possession in the second half and I wouldn't say gave us a hard time and challenged the goal a lot, but um, it, it just didn't look like we were going to get in and in for the game. And, and then obviously up steps Martin Boyle and um, aye, you, you couldn't write it. What a finish. That's it's, true, yeah. <laughs> aye, and it shut all the bastards up, man, and you can't ask for more than that. <laughs> uh, Jamie, what, were you, what did you take uh, making the game? Yeah, I, was, I, I thought we were good the first 20 minutes or so, um, up until they scored, obviously. But, um, yeah, we were good. We were knocking it about quite well. There was a lot of good little slick moves we were playing. Um, Cadden was putting a couple of good balls in. Uh, that one that he put just in front of everybody. Like, often seems our strikers, they're not willing to take that chance. Yeah. So it, make, it makes Cadden's ball look worse than it is. But, I mean, it's it's a good ball in, in, the, in the first place. Um, and yeah, I, th- I thought we were good if, if, um, up until the goal, and then Hearts kind of they got got a bit of a foothold on it for about ten minutes after they scored, and then we started showing glimpses of how we were in the first twenty minutes again, and um, kind of opening them up a wee bit. Um, and then second half, we just never got started at all. It's like we just never come out the traps, and Hearts were just killing it all the time. This kind of taking the sting out of the game, always diving, and and we were kind of. We were letting them kind of get away with that because we were this niggly wee fouls we kept putting in and we were giving yeah. them an opportunity to lie on the ground. Um, and then, yeah, it's the Martin, Martin Boyle steps up. The stars aligned and then up his head, what a goal. Well, I said, spend a few minutes talking about Martin Boyle. Kaiser, were you surprised to see him in the, on, on the, the team sheet at all? Aye, aye, totally. Because I've seen, I seen the team getting dropped and he was right at the bottom. So I think on first glance, I didn't even notice he was on the team sheet. And then I think Mike or somebody had said to me, Boyles, or it was on one of the group charts, Boyles on the bench. And I was like, nah, everybody's saying, and even Lee Johnson, that he's no fit. We're probably not going to see him for a wee while. And then I like just to, to see him uh, on the bench was one thing. But um, I think he came on by 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 a by the fans. I think the crowd got Martin Boyle or something. To be honest, like, but uh, no, it was just I just really good that he got right into the team. Eh? Uh, what about you, Jamie? Were you, were you surprised? Yeah, yeah, no, I was. I was really surprised just because everybody had heard last night. He wasn't. They didn't have a chance of playing, and then the clearance wasn't he coming through. But I think I heard Boyle before the game. These we interviewed before it. He said he just had the phone call last night saying it was through. And, and then Johnson said, tell him, oh, if, if you can come and try it. And of, of course he said, yeah, and thank God he did. Because really, if he hadn't been playing the day, you couldn't see any, any of the rest of them scoring. Uh, we'll talk a wee bit about um, the, the heart score. No, I don't really want to dwell on it too much. There was uh, some suggestions of a handball for uh, Shankland. 
Uh, Jamie, what did you think? You you seen it back, and and what's your view on it? Yeah, I've seen a, a few of them. This, this, they were going on about this t-shirt line, so it hit some just here. It's the, the t-shirt line. I've never even heard that described before the day's game. It was just a cop out, I think. But I mean, that's still your army. Eh? Yeah. So, um, yeah, for me, it was a handball. It should shouldn't it have been allowed. Um, but yeah, t- t- I mean, he took it took it well, and where, where are both of our centre halves? They were, okay. They're both sleep. I get because I think it's uh, Kenny is the closest to him. Yeah, as well. Kenna, he's the uh, left back comes in. Aye, in the track. And um, <laughs> what about you, uh, Kaiser? Was it a handball, or, and is it one of those ones that you think was close enough that you wouldn't blame the referee for it? <clears throat> Couldn't really see it. Um, I was. I just thought we we stood off. We we stood back for them and we gave them that chance. Um, but I just seen everyone obviously. As soon and somebody shouts handball, you just shout reactively shout handball and start going mental, didn't you? Um, but no, I didn't really get a good a good show yet, so no doubt I'll I'll see it on sports scene when they're naming or when when they're talking about chip gate and everything else that we done wrong today. I will I will be the chip gate. So who was it was getting put? Was it Cochrane was getting chips chucked at him? Uh, have, he's have, get, you, on his shoulder. have you ever seen somebody get put on their arse by a chip before? No. <laughs> no. I know you're playing for a time, but you've got to. I mean, that's that's a that. I mean, I know maybe getting grabbed or a wee fit at the back of your leg, and you can go down. But I've never seen anyone go down be chipped before, so that's a first. It was chipped up. Um, you, you should have condoned it, obviously, Ken. Maybe they should be chucking stuff at the players and can put sensible heat on for a wee minute. That's it, uh, Ken. That's not what you want to see at the games. But oh, fuck it, you're not getting knocked down by a chip, surely. And you put salt and sauce, and that makes it a wee bit heavier. <laughs> No, he's maybe got an upper body. There's maybe an upper body issue there that needs to be addressed by the Hearts training team, but we don't know. Aye. Um, second half went on, it looked like we weren't going to get the goal. Uh, Jamie, we're, we're edging into extra time. And do you think it was a case of Hearts time wasting tactics coming back to bite them on their ass when we eventually got the goal? Yeah, well, that's, that's exactly it. The, the, the whole of the second half, they were, I think, for about the f- first 20 minutes of the second half, it just seemed like. There was hardly any play that was actually getting played. There was it was always stoppages and and yeah, as you say, it just came back to bite them on the arse at the end. But I mean, I didn't think it was going to come. But yeah, it was so good when it did come. Uh, my my dad had actually left. He was along for the game and he he he, he left for the night. He says we we're, we're no scoring all night. So I had to phone him when the all the cheering was going on in the back. <laughs> Well, I'm kidding. It's a lesson yeah. learned. Well, never ever leave uh, leave early for that. Especially always it came when there's one goal in it. You never came what's going to happen, eh? You yeah, that yeah. chance. Kaiser, what was going through your head when uh, first Boyle and then Rocky missed those chances in injury time? Well, no guys, go and we can't shut these bastards up sitting next to us. Um, but I, uh, it was just I don't know. It was it was quite reminiscent of like how Hearts have played before. So just going back to. The type of play, like shelling the ball forward when we've got, obviously we've got hand on, uh, like we were good linking up on the wings, but I just thought we wasted that by shelling the ball and I thought Hearts were getting all the second balls, we couldn't get a second ball and some of our touches were a bit shite, but um, I just thought it was a bit wasteful with us. We were we, we had a hand in wasting the game and, and mm-hmm. stopping the game because we were just bombing the ball forward and it was hoof ball, which is, to me, that's kind of a Hearts tactics, but nah, I just kind of a similar thoughts to yourself, just couldn't you see that? Couldn't you see where we were getting a goal for it? And just obviously, I don't ever like saying anything good about Hearts, but um, Craig Gordon's save in the first half for that header, mm-hmm. um, with the got with the with the glove up, it was just one that when that happened, that kind of a sat down and went, Fuck, like we're not going to get a we're not going to get anything here, um, because that save was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's, it's a, but one of the best saves I've seen for a wee while, like it's a it's a, a interesting point like, with, the, with the goalkeepers because obviously we. I suppose upgraded the goalkeeper uh, this summer by bringing in David Marshall and he had a role to play as well Jamie didn't he? in the in the second half where, where Hearts probably started really well second half and, and probably could have or should have scored maybe another yeah, couple of goals but for Marshall what did you think his performance? Yeah I thought it was really good um, notably the distribution as well was as, as an upgrade eh? as he's He's so calm, it just gives that calming presence to the whole, whole of the back line as well. But yeah, that double save he made was was superb as well. That's he's gonna he's gonna win us a lot of points this year. Um points that we maybe lost last year for um 
for for not making good saves um, and the, the distribution as well. That lost us a few points last year as well. You're getting it right back at you as opposed to keeping the ball. So yeah, no, I was I was well chuffed with him. He's he's a major upgrade than what we had. And uh, and uh, Kaiser Purchase playing at left centre half. Uh, drew a few comments on on Twitter and uh, kind of mentioned already, but I'm giving the ball away a few times. Do you think that um, shows the value of a Paul Hanlon? I think it does. I I think um, either that or it shows that we need another centre back option. Um, I thought Poch yesterday was shouting for the ball to get passed back a lot as well, but it's kind of a ties in with us not getting forward and us no us bombing it forward. He was. I mean, there was some times we were in the final third and the ball was gone right back to right back to go again. And it was and I think that was coming from Porto shouting and screaming to get the ball back to him. Um but nah, he, he, he looked a wee bit off at the day. And that's probably positional, but he, I don't think he I think even he would admit that he didn't have a great game the game. He was he, he was he was gaining a lot of people's space that he normally wouldn't. Have. And then the yellow card, like as I say, the decisions we've beaten were awful. I, I've not seen it back. I don't think that was a yellow card challenge, um, but that was just on on first sights, but he didn't have a great game today, and I think we Rocky, him and Hanlon, and if one of them get injured, that's the kind of a way that I look at it. We've, we've, we've got a problem there. Um, if Hanlon's not got to be match fit, and we've just got to shell him into cover injuries, I think we definitely need to look at another uh, centre-back option. Aye. And uh, Jamie, just, uh, we'll, we'll go on to, to, to Martin Powell's school. Talk us through it. What was your view on it? Yeah, it was just... Uh... <clears throat> Just a ball forward, it seemed like a nothing ball, like we've been doing quite a lot. Uh, Porteous was a culprit for a few kind of nothing balls. Um, but Martin Boyle, his first touch to take it out, his well, first two touches to take it out his feet, and it was just so quick, the move was so quick. Uh, and then Ellie Ewan, um, just that wee burst of pace that he had and the strength as well to hold off the defender was brilliant. And then, yeah, the cutback, it was, it was just perfect <laughs> and, and then you see the clock just tick it at the 95th minute as well just made it all, all so much better Outstanding Kaiser have you ever seen a, an entire stand shut up and evacuate as quickly as the heart scent did? No I couldn't hear the Fire, I couldn't hear the fire alarm, eh, but obviously there must have been one there. It might have been for the pie, the tent that they go through in the pitch, and it was just a wee bit low. It was just a wee bit too coming well to get to the, the tent for the cell. But no, it was um, it was it was instant death to them, and it was it was absolutely glorious. And uh, long may it continue. But uh, we were talking just before we started recording about the wee uh, clip that's on Twitter with the, for the heart send for the boy filming it, and they're, they're shouting, "Can blow the whistle, ref! Blow the whistle! Blow the whistle!" And then that changes to "No, no, no." <laughs> And then it just cuts out <laughs> as the capture of the goal. Fucking supreme. That's the sort of stuff that you love, eh? that sort of content. That, and I can't my Hearts fans post it. Mind you, that it would be coming to goal as well in the cup when we yeah. uh, when, 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 when knocked him out in 2016. Um, right, just to wrap up then, we've got Livy next up on uh, Saturday. Uh, score predictions for that. Jamie, come at you first. Uh, well, now that we've got Boyle back, I'll go... 2-1, it's always a tough place to go there, eh? we've not got a very good record there, but yeah, ho hopeful this this is us, that goal is going to make a big loss to the season, it's a vital goal, that equaliser there, It'll give them all a good lift, so yeah, 2-1 hopefully. And Kaiser? Well, if he's a hard place to go, um, with Martin Dale's tactics and stuff like that, um, he's quite good at shutting teams down, the astral pitch isn't good, so all, all, all that being said, 3-0 no hips. 3-0 no hips, and uh, last thing, a man of the match for the day? Ellie Ewan for me. He was uh, he was he was brilliant. It was just just his work rate. <clears throat> he was a wee bit. Uh, I thought he could have shown more strength a couple of times, but kind of muscled off the ball a few times. But he was he was everywhere. He put a right good shift in. Um, and out with that, there wasn't really many that showed much at all, apart from Marshall with double saves. So, I what were you Kaiser? It's going to be Martin Boyle. Um, I know Ewan was Ewan was. Um, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't for you and Martin Boy when I got that goal, but um, nah, just for coming on when he did, and um, even the impact he had. I mean, like if he's no played in that, he did try and bust a few. He did try and go for that a few times and a busty pace and stuff like that, and he just slotted right back in. It was like he's never left. Um, and to get the goal as well is just testament to the to the player that he has. It's it's outstanding. So for me, Martin Boy all day long. He's played on the right. He hasn't played since June as well. Yeah, another June game. So. 
Uh, something going for him, just got through on adrenaline. Anyway, great to have him back. Uh, thanks very much for coming on, Jamie. Thanks for coming on, Kaiser. Uh, we will be recording Long Bangers tonight, so if you watch this between now and uh, kind of half past eight on Sunday night, then drop us a wee tweet with your talking points and we'll cover them on the podcast. Uh, until then, we'll see you next time. Don't get